and welcome Noveniers. Welcome to this week's assembly. Thank you so much for joining me as we learn about more of our culture principles and we go on this journey of remote online learning together. So the first thing I'm going to do is just move my picture out the way and then we can start. So today we're going to be talking about the joy of learning. Now the thing with the joy of learning is that we, we know that learning is fun and joyful. But one of the things we don't discuss is the fact that part of the joy of learning comes along with some frustrations and some things that make us really upset. So the joy of learning isn't just all about fun and games, but the joy of learning is about that amazing feeling that you feel when you have learned something new and you've overcome the challenges. So this morning we are talking about the joy of learning. Today's assembly about this joy of learning is going to explore the fact that the joy of learning is about learning new things, but this is not always easy. It takes time, it takes practice, it requires failure. So you need to be able to fail and make mistakes in order to really experience the joy that comes from overcoming. So the joy of learning, that is the fun, that is that amazing feeling that we feel when we have overcome a challenge. But another thing we have to know that part of the joy of learning is the failure in learning, the mistakes that we make, the things that we can't do. <laughs> and when we make mistakes and we experience failure, this can sometimes feel very painful. But we need support. We need to hang in there and we need to keep trying again. When we've been through the failure and the pain and the trying again, that is what leads us to feeling like a champ. And that, my Noveneers, is where the joy comes in. The joy of learning isn't about getting it right the first time. It's about achieving your goal of learning something new. And learning something new is hard at first. So for example, if you join the gym and you're lifting weights and you're on the treadmill, that's not always easy at first. The first time you go to the gym after a long time, you're definitely not smiling like I'm smiling in these pictures. It's hard. It hurts your muscles. And maybe you don't even feel like going back again. But when you're learning something new, it takes practice. Practice makes progress. We don't get it right the first time. So if we are learning a new skill like painting or learning a new sport and catching balls and painting pictures, we have to keep doing it over and over. When you learn something new, you're not brilliant at it the very first time. And this can make you feel bad. It can make you feel sad. It can make you feel grumpy. It can make you feel frustrated. It can even make you feel angry. But Noveneers take heart because that is all part of the journey of learning something new. Practice makes progress. So the more we do it, the easier it becomes and the better we feel. After a while of going to gym, the, lights, the, the weights don't feel so bad anymore. We're able to run faster than we could in the beginning. If you're an artist, you, the more you practice, the more professional your work will begin to look. And this is when we start to feel the joy. So please remember the joy of learning doesn't always come right in the beginning of that journey. In the journey, we find the joy. So often we start off feeling a little bit afraid and nervous. And this can lead to frustration and anger because we can't just get it right. And then this should lead to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes progress. And that is what leads to the success. And when we find success in what we're doing and we get it right, there is where we find the joy. So the joy is found in the journey, Noveneers. 
and we need to work on moving from a place of fear to a place of joy. So at this point, I'm going to ask you to stop. Stop the video and think about the following things and share it with someone in your family. Have you tried to learn something new that was hard? Think about that. How did you feel? What did you do? Pause the video, think and share. Right, welcome back. I'm so glad that you took the time to share your experience with someone in your family. If I was to share an experience with you, that would be my experience that I've had doing the online learning. So for example, using Google Classroom has been quite a challenge. Even though I knew about Google Classroom, when I started it, I didn't know everything I needed to know. And I had to ask lots of questions and I had to get help. And it was a little bit frustrating. And sometimes I was just thinking, oh, no, I can't do this. But the more I used Google Classroom, the easier it felt. And the more I asked people for help, the better I felt about Google Classroom. So even in this online journey that we're going on online learning, the, this in itself is a new experience. A whole online experience is new for all of us. Even though I'd used Google Classroom before, I never had to use it in a way when, where I had no children in front of me. So there were things that I had to do to find the joy. And how did I find the joy in learning in this new experience of online learning? First, I reminded myself that it's okay to find new things hard. So when you're in Google Classroom and maybe the work feels hard or just navigating the classroom feels hard, just remind yourself that is okay. The next step is to find out more information. Find out, maybe Google some ideas, do some research, or go straight to step number three and ask for help. Ask somebody to help you and guide you in the things that you're finding difficult. Then number four, take a break and try again. And sometimes you have to repeat number four a few times where you take a break, you do something else and you come back and try again. But you never ever give up. Once you've achieved your success and you, you've found the joy in this new thing that you're doing, it's time to spread the joy. So when you give it, get it right, give yourself a high five because you're amazing like that, then teach a friend. One of my favorite sayings is, when one teaches, two learns. What do you think that means? That's right, it means that even when you're the teacher, you're always learning. And when we teach somebody something new that we've learned, we get to know it even more and we learn even more. So now you know how to do this hard thing. You've given yourself a high five. You are teaching a friend. Now it's time to go and find something else new to learn. That's right. Repeat. Never stop learning. Never stop looking for the joy in learning. And never stop spreading the joy. All right, children. So now I am going to learn something new. And that is... I'm going to try and learn how to have my face come back into the recording. And boys and girls, that looks like it's a lesson that I'm going to have to go and find out about so that I can learn how to put my little bubble with my face back onto the screen. This is something I think that I am going to have to go and research or ask somebody to help me with. Right, let's have a look at all the birthdays that we have for the rest of this month. Wow, well, not for the whole month, from the 4th to the 15th of May. That's a lot of birthdays. I think we're going to have a lot of cake in our Nova Pioneer houses. 
Wow. I hope you all have a wonderful, magnificent, incredible birthday. Remember, the day that you were born was the best day ever. So I hope that you take the time to celebrate your absolute awesomeness on your day. Other special days is we had Mother's Day. That's just on the Sunday that's gone past. And remember that a mother is a person who loves you no matter what. And mothers come to us in many different ways. Sometimes it's an aunt or a family, another family member. Sometimes it's even a dad or an uncle or somebody else in your life that plays that role. I think what's important to remember about Mother's Day is it's a celebration of the love and the light and the life that you have surrounding you. So a tribute to all of our mums and all of our families. I hope that day was special. And that, boys and girls, is the end of our assembly. I hope you have a great week and I'm looking forward to doing another one soon with our next culture principle. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep remembering that even when it's hard, if you don't give up, you will definitely find the joy. Bye, Novaneers.